Have you noticed this year the honeys are saying to hell with a face beat? They want soft glam, clean glam, bronzy glam. Actually, they want soft sculpted glam. Well, today I'm here to show you how to achieve a soft sculpted face. As a woman of color, it's important that while we are sculpting and adding dimension to our faces, that we aren't taking away vibrancy from our beautiful complexions. It's so important to bronze and softly sculpt at the same time. So honeys, today I'm here to put you on game. I'll be showing you a simple way of how to sculpt and bronze your face at the same time, what products you should be using to achieve this effect most effortlessly, and also how to finish your makeup for that flawless, radiant, natural glam look. So let's get right into it. My honeys, you should already know by now, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit the bell button because you don't want to miss all these tutorials, these makeup hacks, and all this free game that I'll be putting you onto on how to make money in the beauty industry. So just go ahead and subscribe real quick, and we're going to really get right into it. All right, honeys, let's start. So because the focus of the video is bronzing and sculpting, we already did foundation off camera. So that make sure that you prep your skin, you apply your foundation nicely. And I'm going in here and applying concealer under the eyes and all over the T-zone area. And I'm just patting it in with a Real Techniques brush. Now, if you guys want more in detail tutorials on how to do this, I have tutorials there. So you can check them out. But we focus in on bronze and sculpt in the face. Okay, babes? So now I'm just applying concealer on my second model. As you can see, as I never told you, but it's there right in front of you. I have two models today, okay? I'm being super extra. So... Now we're going in and we're going to sculpt and bronze. Now guys, this product is a new product from Care Beauty and it is a heaven scent. So basically they are called the Care Beauty Sun Sculpt Bronzing Sticks, right? They're formulated for us women of color and they come in six different, very inclusive shades, um, starting from uh, like a light fair brown complexion going straight up to the darkest shade of melanin. Um, it has been tested. so. If you one of my dark skin babes, you definitely want to check this out because that last shade, fudge brownie, might be very perfect for you to sculpt and bronze your face. So I love these because they're creamy, they're long wearing, they're easy to blend, and the shades are perfection. Look at this diagram that I have here. Look at the color range. This is what you need for sculpting and bronzing at the same time. So let me show you how to use it now. All right, so honeys, I like to use two shades. I use one shade that is one to two shades darker than your skin tone. And you can grab another shade that is two to three shades darker than your skin tone. So I use the lighter one to contour the nose. And I use the darker one to contour the outer regions of the face. So that would be the temples or the forehead, the cheekbones. The reason why I use a lighter color on the nose is because the nose is in the center of the face. And you don't need such a super dark, harsh color in the center of your face. It looks kind of bad, okay? Alright, also, I am doing two shades on each model. I'm going to do a lighter shade on the right cheek and a darker shade on the left cheek. Okay, just to like test out the different colors of the bronzing stick. The color I'm using on her right cheek is called Toffee. And the color I used on her left cheek is called Brown Sugar. So the steps on how to do this is first you apply the contour, right? Then you're going to pat it like what I'm doing. You're going to blur out the color. So that it just looks like one big blur on your face to soften it out. Then when you're done that, you're going to blend to create a transition in between the contour stick color and the concealer under your eyes okay you cannot just leave it on the face like a one big bulb it doesn't look good so that's what i'm doing right there i am just picking up my i'm putting my brush right in between where the contour ends and right where the con where the concealer under the eye stops and i'm just blending that region patting it patting it until everything blends together seamlessly and as you can see <laughs> the model's cheeks look sculpted softly sculpted i should say and now we're moving on to our beautiful model on the right hand side. So now I am going to contour her nose and I'm just drawing two lines down the side of her nose. Nothing crazy and I'm using the light of the two. The lighter color I'm using right now is called Cinnamon Stick, okay? It's the same color I'm using on her cheekbone as well. Please see the way how I'm extending a line 
from her ear down her cheekbone make sure to keep this line on your cheekbone keep it high because when you blend sometimes it go low and for a feminine lifted look you want to keep that contour on the actual cheekbone where you feel the bone okay so now we have extended out that line to make the line easy for us to blend out right oopsies i made a major mistake i think that was when i realized i used a color that was way too dark on her left cheek okay so I picked up the, a darker color in Aero. I was supposed to be using a color called Chocolate Drop, but I ended up using a color called Black Coffee. Um, I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Should I take it off? Should I just blend it and see how it works? And I think I just decided to just stay with it and blend it out and see how it works anyways. But guys, that color is way too dark for her. Definitely is not going with the soft sculpted look that we're going for. <laughs> But it's okay. We're just gonna have one cheek that is more softly sculpted and the other cheek that's gonna be a bit more dramatic. We'll make it work. We'll see how it blends, okay? All right, so as I said, I'm gonna add the, the right color on top of the darker color. So the right color I had wanted to use is called Chocolate Drop, right? I'm, I applied it over it and I know it looks insane like I applied too much, but let me tell you something. This is a tip that most people do not know. Not, a lot of makeup artists don't even know this. If you're having issues blending out your contour color, maybe it's because you haven't applied enough contour color to move around to give yourself a nice blend if you just put one little line and you try to blend it what's going to happen is it is going to disappear it's not going to be able to blend properly because it's not enough product so use enough product so that the product blends properly okay so i'm using my new favorite brush it's from sheen i call it my magic brush but it's called the clip design brush i'll link it below so what i'm doing here is i'm starting where the contour line stops closest to the under eye concealer and i'm just patting that region because we want to blur it out okay like as you watch me i'm patting up and down the cheekbone right to blend that region right there i don't know if you notice it's blended out so easily and the reason why i blended out easily is because of two things i used enough product and i also made sure that i used a color that was not too dark for her okay because if the color is too dark it won't blend so nicely now please look at this lady's chest if you look at her chest right you'll notice that she's kind of tan look for the darker regions like where the shadows are picking up on her chest you don't want a color that is darker than those natural shadows no that's a great indication if your contour is darker than those shadows you need to just throw it in the bin for a self sculpted look it's not gonna work okay now i'm moving on to the nose the nose is super easy babes all you have to do is go up and down up and down the nose because you want that line but you just want it to soften out the line okay you need line otherwise it's not gonna look like a nose contour or whatever okay and as you can see, honey, we're having a ball, just pure laughter, just pure excitement, pure things are going on. Okay, so don't get too distracted by that. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> now we're going to move on to that crazy cheekbone on the left-hand side. Let's see how we can blend this out. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie. I'm a really nervous, bad, bad, bad boy that cheek here. But listen, I'm just getting right into it. A lot of blending. We got to blend, 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 blend fast, you know? Because it's going to be harder to blend this out. So you just need to blend at a faster rate. And I'm going to hold your hand and we're going to go over this again. So what we're doing now is blurring out the lines. Remember guys, I said that. Apply, blur out, then ensure that the transition is blended, the three steps. So now we're blurring out the edges of the contour, right? So where the contour stops, where it's closest to the foundation, where it's closest to the under eye concealer, those are the area that you need to blend out first. Then you can go on and generally blend that whole contour region. Then you're going to ensure that the transitions are blended out nicely, okay? So once you do that, you're going to have a nice seamless blend. And as you can see how they stop playing with me right now. <laughs> Look at my models. They're showing off. They're happy. Oh, it's time to evaluate. Don't you see how radiant they look? It's giving bronzy. It's giving softly sculpted. And they look beautiful. True or false? And as you can see, most importantly, guys, you don't need a powder set to wear this. You can do this by nice dewy look, natural makeup look, natural glam look. You can do this for a clean girl look. Stop playing with them. Stop and sculpted coming for their necks, okay? Now let's set with powder. Honey, you know I love to bake, but today we're not baking, okay? <laughs> we're just going to take a little powder puff that I get off of Amazon. And we're just going to set under the eye with the K.O. Beauty Set and Bake Powder. We're just patting it in. For this beauty on the left, I'm using the color butter, right? It, as you can see, it's a perfect shade for her under eye. Nothing serious, just patting with a small amount. You don't need too much, okay? And then on the model on the right, I'm going in using custard and I just pat under the eyes. Now I'm going in with the Kill Beauty Artist Essential Powder Palette. Babes, this is just, we're just using this to set the powder contour. So we're just using a color that looks similar to her contour shade. And we just pat it on top of the um, contour 
the sculpts that we just created right just to set it into place because we don't want that cream product moving around and being messy throughout the day cool and i'm just getting some on the forehead on the chin and on the cheeks and i just take some on my little brush as well and i get it down the side of the nose i'm just going up back and forth nothing serious and this is why i love the artist essential powder palette guys i'm actually using this to blend out the transition um, right in between the under eye highlight and the contour on the cheeks. This is why you need this palette. You need them little transition colors. This is this is what's gonna create that super seamless blend. Like people wonder, like, do you do makeup professionally? Yes, I do. Okay, so I'm just doing the same thing on my babe on the right. We're just going in and setting the contour color, and I'm using a lighter color that matches like her skin tone from the powder palette to just blend out that transition. Yeah, and I'm just adding more because it has to be blended nicely. And remember that color was really dark for her. We just made it work, but it looks really good. What do you think? And I'm just going down her side of her nose. We're just setting with powder. Now we're going in with the KO Beauty Bar Blush Palette. I don't know about y'all, but it's no glam, no makeup for me. It could be natural glam. How are you gonna complete it without blush? I don't really know how y'all doing that. I don't know why y'all do that at. <laughs> but I'm just taking uh, this color here. It's called Sweet Girl K. And I'm just patting it right there on her cheekbone. Right on the cheekbone, the top, top, the very top of the cheekbone. And you can see it just gives like a nice feminine lifted look. We need that, okay? Now I'm going in. This thing would not focus, okay? Don't blame me. I tried for like a minute. I'm just using the Care Beauty lip liners from the Sexy Lip Liner Kit. And the one I'm using on my beauty on the left is called Soft Life Queen. It's like a soft brown. And for my babe on the right, I'm using a color called Beautiful Badass. It's darker. It's like chestnut but slightly darker. I made it for my melanated babes. I like to blend out the lip liner before I do anything else. And after I've blended it out, I'm just going in with the babe on the left. I'm using a color from the Sexy Lip Kit and it is called Brick With A Body. And on the babe on the right, I'm using a color called Kissing In The Bank. Guys, this is gorgeous. Stop playing with them. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. That's that. I said what I said. Go and purchase these products. If you want to achieve this soft sculpted look that is specifically made for my woman of color so go ahead and grab them contour sticks and grab the magic wand from sheen okay all the products listed below thanks for watching i hope you learned a lot if you have any video requests feel free to comment them below like comment and subscribe and see you in the next video bye babes